Yo guys, it's Slower. You already know that today we are back playing some more Dang and Rapa Ultra Despair Girls. On the last time, we finished chapter 3 a lot sooner than expected. So I don't know if the next couple chapters are going to be quick like that or what. I don't really know how far into this game I am. Um, but it doesn't really matter because we're just going to keep playing it. I'm having uh, a lot of fun, even though I wish <laughs> the save points would show up in uh, more convenient spots. But that's okay. Hopefully we don't end up with too many more 50 minute long episodes. Or maybe you want that to happen. Who knows? I'm not in control here the places I get to save are. So anyway, we're going to start chapter four. Uh, we ended off chapter three beating Kotoko, but instead of her getting like sucked away, I'm pretty sure, um, we just have like a scene where they're going to let us go. But I have a feeling that that's not going to go super well because we still need to try and save Byakuya. Um, at least if Toko gets her away, which I assume that she would. And if Kamaru has that sense of like, okay, well I got to go, but what about everybody else that is trapped in the same situation? Um, which I think is likely to happen. So, let's go ahead and just uh, load up the game and just go from there and see what starts to happen. We are at Chapter 4, uh, which is called The Way We Live. Okay, that does not tell me that much. So, let's better. learn. Please, just leave this city. Where did this come from? Uh, it came from Nagisa's mouth, actually. He said it very clearly. Oh, I knew this would happen. Ooh. Ooh, is he gonna get in trouble for trying to send the send Kamaru like away? Well no, because hmm. In order for the new society of children to be calm and peaceful, I need to create paradise. Yeah, I was gonna say I was like maybe it's being framed as like, oh he's trying to like save them, but he, like he's not really. He's just trying he's really just trying to save his own paradise, or you know, or like the children's Monica's, whoever gets the credit for creating the paradise. Uh, so it's not really out of the goodness of his heart. He just doesn't want them all to be annihilated. Everyone has high expectations of me. I cannot fail. So please get out of our town. But, but, uh, oh, Maru, don't be tricked. You don't have to actually accept that offer. No, this is not an offer. It's an honest request. Mm hmm. Ooh. Please. I'm begging you. Please leave. H hey! I wouldn't trust a kid. Even if he's kneeling on the ground. He's obviously tricking us. It's not much of a trick as much as it is, like, uh, if he lets you stay around. I think he's probably legitimately concerned that we're just going to, like, destroy everything that he's working to, to gain. Um, I don't know if he's more scared of his, like, dream not coming true, or he's more scared of failing and then having to deal with Monica. <laughs> I know which one I would be more scared of. Trick you. I'm serious. Ooh. It's gone. You are free. Ooh. We don't have a wristband no more. If you do this, you're gonna make Monica super sad. Yeah. I know that. But it has to be done. Yeah, if your plans get ruined, Monica will even be more sad. Monica has high expectations of me. I'm sure she'll understand. Mm. It doesn't seem like I'll she take will. I'll you to the secret passageway. It's the only way to get out of town. I can guarantee your safety until you reach it. The Monokumas won't attack with me here. Come on, let's go. Wow, he really is trying to just aid us uh, to go away. And, like, I get why, but... Hey, mm. I told you to wait! I just don't think that's good for us, because there's a lot of other people to save. What? Do you have another objection? D do I? Um... Uh, yeah, you probably do. Oh, oh, Maru, are you really okay with this? Huh? Of course she is. This is what she wanted all this time. Mm, let her say it, though, because I'm not convinced that she is okay with this. She felt really guilty about basically being responsible for the attack on the secret base. So, if she just leaves, she's going to feel more responsible for the deaths of even more people. I, I wasn't talking to you. I'm asking Amaru. She wants to leave this town. Why are you getting in her way? And why do you keep speaking when you're not the one being talked to? You're on the same side, right? Then you should respect her feelings. Would you let her say what her feelings are? Hmm? Her feelings? Sh shut up. You have no right to say that. It's going to be all right. I will personally guide you to the secret passageway. No need to worry. Yeah, what's there to worry about except for the deaths of all the other adults and people that aren't children? Let's go. 
Come on, you're not gonna say nothing? Don't follow us. But you don't want Monica to hate you, do you? He understands the risk that he's taking. Kamara's going? Hmm. I don't know. She might still be thinking about it. I mean, she has a lot of things to process. So. But I would be very surprised if Kamaru, like, actually commits to leaving. Let's go. In any way, shape, or form. Passageway is this way. This way. Well, we are... We are indeed following. Ah, uh, yes. I see a sparkly child. Hooray! Do they always get found in the same order? Because it feels like... It feels like they do. I always feel like I find Masaru first. And he was the first one we fought. So I wonder if um, that's supposed to help you gauge whether you've uh, missed uh, something or not. Uh, about the children at night, there's only one thing I could tell for sure after taking the night shift as lookout. The children are all wearing uh, those idiotic helmets. None of them look like they're sleeping, and I've never seen them eat either. Are they really human children? Isn't it possible that they're just mechanical dolls like Monokuma's? Well, regardless, whether they're humans or robots, they're devils in our eyes. The only difference is what liquid they bleed when we run them over. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um... Oh, no, it's so slow. Which is good for aiming, but bad for very specifically this situation. I got two. Alright, full genocide jack charge. Uh, there's a save point right there, but, like, literally we just started the chapter. If anything happens, I can just start from there and, and skip through all the, the dialogue, so... I don't need to stop and save. Uh, I don't see any other sparklies. We're just gonna keep following Nagisa. Ooh, cutscene, cutscene. I thought we'd be following for a lot more before a cutscene like this happened. What was it, blocked? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're being stopped. Does Monica know? Or does somebody know? Oh, boy. Oh, hey, we just got full genocide jack charge. You know what that means. Hold on. Why are you attacking me? Ooh. Is Nagisa's thought process becoming not like a child and therefore he needs to be eliminated, maybe? Hmm. What's going on? Why is he getting ambushed by the Monokumas? That's a good question. Oh, dance! No! Yeah! Break! I want to wait until it gets a little bit harder, and then maybe I will, uh, uh, switch to Genocide Jack. Oop. Come on. No. Dance. Dance. There you go. Uh, you know what? Let's just make this go faster. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? You say Omanami? That's what I thought I heard. No, I'm not gonna stop it. You stop it. Uh. Uh, here we go. Dance! No! Stop dodging me! There we go. Line them all up. And take them all out. Actually, I should probably be doing one of these things. That's the smarter thing to do. You stay away from Nagisa. Okay, is that... Is that all the combat for now? Okay. Wasn't too bad. But I have... You said the Monokumas wouldn't attack us if you were here. Trying to uh, aim the, the, the dance bullets to a moving target when I have the super slow mode uh, aiming is, is a little difficult, but I do like the slow mode aiming for uh, when I need to hit the eye. So, I'm going to keep it for now, but uh, if I ever lose out on a, on a combat because of that, I might switch those skills around. This is... What in the world is this? Hey, you weren't lying when you said you wouldn't trick us, right? I mean, he's uh, a really good actor if you still think that he's, like, tricking you right now. Of course. If I wanted to deceive you, I would not have removed your wristband. Then they must have found out you betrayed them. Ooh. Betrayal? Me? No, that's wrong. I'm no traitor. I am the leader of the Warriors of Hope. I care about making paradise more than anybody. The reason I'm letting you guys go is because I care so much. Must not be seen that way. 
It appears your allies aren't taking it that way. Oh, what do you do, I'm Nagisa? Sure she'd understand if I explained it to her properly. Monica has such high expectations. Yeah, keep on saying that, Mr. Genius Grade Schooler. Ooh. Oh, okay. Now we're now we're gonna keep following. Oh yeah. Let's not waste more uh, bars. Pick up whatever we can. All right. Other stuff probably we either got or they disappeared. It's fine. Bodies everywhere. I'm getting sick of this. Yeah. It's uh it's a bit much. The secret passageway is this way. Mm, but I want to go this way. Jump into the hole. Uh, what do you have for me? More break bullets, okay. Is there gonna be another combat coming up here? Another cutscene. Very possible. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So this is gonna be a lot of kind of like a Nagisa escort mission essentially. Even though he's escorting us, we gotta protect him. I'm a warrior of hope. I'm your master. Oh, uh blow up. Blow up. And blow up the other two. Yeah. I was gonna say, if they drop a coin up to where I can't get them, I'm gonna be very sad. Get broken. Oh, you're on the ground now. You can get broken. Are you gonna jump on the ground? There you are. Got one, two, three. Anywhere else? Doesn't seem like they're coming from anywhere else. One, two, three. You should get that one. Oh, oh, that it did kind of knock him to the side. I wasted a couple bullets. That's fine. No big deal. Hey, level it up. Let's go. All right, so we get you. They're probably gonna jump on the ground. Two, three. Is that good? Blast radius gonna get you? I think it will. I think that's the whole point of this exercise is, is for us to try and conserve as much ammo as we can. It's less about uh being challenging in an overwhelming sense and more about trying to maximize the amount of ammo per round and wave and whatnot. Mm. I don't really know what happens if we run out of ammo. I don't know what our backup plan would be. There we go. Get all of them. None of them will jump down while in the middle of this domino effect, will it? No, it doesn't seem like it. Let's go! One shot, like seven kills. Yeah, you better run from us. We're scary. Uh, okay, so we came in that way. Is this like the opposite way? Trying to see if there's any sparkles hiding around. Uh, not any that I'm immediately seeing. Oh, oh, I thought I saw one maybe under that car. No. I'm trying. I am trying to search around for all of the sparkles on the ground and for all the sparkly children. So you cannot say that I'm not giving a solid effort. Um... All right, I guess we'll just follow Nagisa and see what happens. Hopefully, we get a chance to restock our bullets before another thing like that happens. This way. Okay, so there is a thing there. You're seriously trusting a guy like that? I'm sure he's planning to betray you. You, you think so? Hmm. It sounds like Kamaru is like kind of down to just like leave the city. Is she gonna leave until she realizes like, oh, but what about all the people that I've left behind? I feel like that has to be something that she thinks about at some point, right? Alright, so what do you give me? Dance bullets. And break bullets. I wonder if the upcoming thing... Oh, that's knockback. Okay. So this might be some... some... Oh, it's gonna be a bunch of ball monokumas, isn't it? Okay. Now that I've been corrected on how to how to fight uh, ball monokumas... I forget in what order we have to do it, but I have to make them dance to make them more vulnerable to my knockback. Which I was not doing the last time I fought them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's try this. What happens if I if I dance you like that? So now you're a, now you're a ball, and then I can knock you back. Okay, so if it's not a ball, that's when I make them dance, and then I knock back like that. That's how it works. All right, so we just dance and knock back. Dance. Ow! That hurt. Dance. Knock back. All right, this is just pretty pretty standard stuff here. Dance. Knock back. Dance. And they're literally going to the same spots, too. Uh, dance. 
I was like, I hope there isn't a way that we're supposed to be maximizing our bullets here, because I am just doing it one at a time. I hope I don't... I'm not supposed to be, like, lining them up. But surely, if they throw out 20 different ball Monokumas, then that'd be pretty crazy. They are coming pretty fast, so... I think I'm doing alright. Oh, I missed a dance. I hate when that happens. Oh, oh. Dance, just dance, just dance. I want to see how many of those I can get. Oh, dance! Okay, okay, here, and then knock back that way. Okay, did that pull over that other one? I'm gonna break... Oh, no, I want to break you. No. Let's dance. Let's knock back. Oh, no. I think I'm wasting way too many bullets. Well, no, when I was running out of bullets before... Um... When I was running out of bullets before, the game, like, dropped extra, uh, ammo for me to use. So, the game has probably thought about about that. I don't think I'll fail if I, like, run out of ammo or anything. But, I don't think I need to worry because I'm just using Genocide Jack now. There's starting to be a lot of enemies. The beginning part was, in fact, just a warm-up to, uh, to teach us the ways. Oh, that was just knockback bullets. Okay. There we go, got some more charge. Probably switch back right. N mm. Yeah, let's switch back right now. Use the knockback for like all of them. Okay. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch right now. And then maybe do one of these things. Oh, was that gonna get all of them? No, it only got the one. Oh wait, no. I got like two of them. I should have waited for them to be more grouped up and got more of them. That's all right. No big deal, no big deal. I can do one of these things now. And then this, I'm almost gonna run out. I'm gonna run out. Take that, take that, take that. All right, now we have to use uh, Kamaru here. Come on. Get danced. Get knocked back. Get some bowling done. Dance. Uh, I think I missed. I'm gonna make you dance. I just want to bowl over that last one. I, I think I got it. All right, dance, knock back, let's grab this. We got another Genocide Jack charge, which is very good. Genocide Jack could come in handy. So this like takes forever. Okay, bowled over some. Whoa! Don't spit things at me. And then knock back that way. All right, I think I got them all. Uh, oh, but now there's... Oh, there's a bunch of junk? Hello? This must be, like, the... This, like... This has to be, like, the big, like, final combat. Ow! Okay, knock back into the junk, please. Is there another one? Let me, let me just, like, break you a couple times. Alright, just kidding. They literally just never stop. Is there a way I need to get them to stop coming? No, I'm definitely making progress because there wouldn't be a junk there. Yeah, okay, okay. Wow, that was a lot. That's gotta be like the final of these, this sort of gauntlet of combat. I've gotta imagine because we had to use a lot of resources there. All right, I guess we just Let's keep moving go. forward. The secret passageway is this way. There's only one machine to refill some stuff. So, so cruel. This is too cruel. Is this what you want to leave behind, huh? I won't look. But even if I don't see it, I can pretty much figure out what happened. Yeah, it's not a good sight. You really don't feel anything seeing this? These people are demons. Our enemies. That's not what she asked. You said it before, right? It's because you're afraid of adults? Mmm. Yeah, that's right. We can't help but be terrified around adults. I mean, you do feel something, I guess. Adults just didn't exist. We could live peacefully. That's what I believe. Why are you so afraid of adults? Hmm, I mean, probably based on previous trauma. We Warriors of Hope are classmates in the Hope's Peak Elementary program. We were in the classroom where they put all the troublemakers, but I resented being called a troublemaker. It makes it sound as if we ourselves were the cause of the trouble, but that's not right. Our troubles were created by adults, by our parents. They say kids can't pick their parents. Well, 
We were the unluckiest ones of all. Yeah, they just got like set up in some of the worst situations uh, in their upbringing. It seems like my parents were, without exaggeration, the worst, like demons. My parents raised me like they were leveling me up in some game. They didn't treat me like a person. They probably even forgot I was their child. Oh my gosh, what is like the IV that's like hooked up? Is that just a I'm guessing with the eyes, is that just something to keep him awake so he can like study more or something? From morning till night. Mm -hmm. Study, study, study. When I got sleepy, analeptics. Yeah, and that's like a whole bunch of like medicine or whatever right next to him. Even if I faint, HP is fully restored with a handy IV in Ooh. three to four days straight. My gosh, it's like they made him into some sort of science experiment. And if I showed even the slightest resistance, they'd use items to neuter my spirit. Oh my gosh. And by doing so, as long as they steadily racked up XP, I'd level up to their expectations. And it wasn't just at home. I received the same expectations at school as well. Yeah, that's insane. My father was a teacher at our school. He was a researcher of children's talent. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. He used his own son to research the growth of a child's talent. Yeah, I, I, I always dislike um, any sort of... Like I like I just hate that. So like you know, like let, let, let your child have their own life and stop trying to like live through them or try to make them like better than you. Just just, just let them live, yo. I don't know. You wanted to see what the growth curve would be like if you pushed a child to the breaking point. But I mentioned it before. I do think this game brings up a very interesting philosophy. Just in, like in in basics in terms of like you know what's really the cause. Of, you know, are are people the cause of issues? Is it their upbringing that is the cause of the issue? Is it you know like. Who do you put more at fault? Things like that. I, I do think this game asks some pretty interesting questions along that. Um, even if the conclusion is very set in stone, like, uh, parents bad, kill all parents. And then, like, some of the other um, adults are just like, oh, children bad, they're killing us, we kill them. You know? So it boils down to, like, two basic things, but, like, the nuances behind uh, the points that are bringing up are very interesting to consider, I think. Isn't that funny? I was the subject of such an amusing experiment. I don't think anybody was laughing. It's not funny at all. But even with all that, I was still better off than the others. You saw Monica's legs, right? That what was done to her by her family. Oh, what? I didn't consider that at all. Her father and older brother were jealous of her talent. And that's how she ended up like that. That's crazy. I thought that was, you know, she was just born that way with some sort of condition or something. I didn't even consider that that was like something that happened to her. Oh dang! Because we had talent, because we were superior, we were treated like we were in hell. That definitely lends more to the idea that Monica is just like a normal person. I thought like for sure that she could just be some sort of like robot or program or something that's just like not like a normal child with like an upbringing. But it, it seems more and more like she actually is just like everybody else. But during it all, we didn't hold a grudge against our parents. We accepted how we were treated, because we weren't aware that it was okay to hate our parents. We trusted the common knowledge that kids must love their parents, so we didn't fight it. Yeah, that doesn't always work, you know. It, it, you, as a kid, you get told a lot of, like, listen to adults, listen to your parents, they know more than you. And it's like, a lot of cases that's true, and there's plenty of cases where that's not true. And it's hard to, uh, as a child, know, like, which one is, you know, to discern which from which. Um, Instead, it's rough. We bonded over our struggle, and those discussions led us to the same conclusion. Yeah, with a little bit of influence from Juko, I'm sure. We had to escape from the horrifying world that made us suffer. We were desperate to run away from our scary parents, scary adults, the whole scary world. And we thought there was only one way out, but that's when it happened. Oh, were they all just gonna, like, commit suicide or something? And then Juko stopped them and was like, actually, I have another way. There was someone who taught mm. us to have courage, to fight back instead of running away. Okay, okay. That was Big Sis Junko. Big Sis Junko told us how. If you don't want it, give it to me. She wanted the thing we were going to dispose of, our lives. And so, Big Sis Junko abducted us. <laughs> I, I, that's not funny, it's just like the way, the wording of that is just like, oh, so we went with Big Sis uh, Junko, but the way that he's like, oh, uh, she abducted us, like, abduction is usually, you know, like, a bad thing, or like, a crime, uh, but you guys went willingly, so, <laughs> I don't know, I, something about the, the, the wording of it was funny to me. Our disappearance didn't make much news, 
This was around the time the incident was growing. Yeah, okay. I was like, if it was during peaceful times, then that absolutely would have been news, at least locally. Ever since then, the days have been so much fun. Big Sis Junko showered her possessions with love and affection. I wonder if by the end of this game, the Future Foundation has found a way. Well, no. I was going to say, because Dangrama 2, they get the remnants of despair to try and like change them. And I was like, do they figure out that at some point during the timeline of this game to where they're able to like uncorrupt the kids and make them back into like, you know, like them without the despair, uh, like influence? I, I wonder. She gave us not only love. But a dream as well. Because I'm not convinced that all the, the kids that we fought are, like, dead. They're, like, they're probably somewhere else right now. I don't know, though. The dream of creating a children's paradise. Where the children can live peacefully. We also learned from Big Sis Junko. The beliefs required to build that dream. The belief that adults are demons. It was as if we saw the light. Thanks to her, we finally realized the common knowledge we had known up until then. Were lies adults created for their own benefit. Children cannot defy their parents. Everyone must get along. Violence can never bring peace. Mm -hmm. To destroy the world based on such lies, we decided to fight against the adults. Yeah. Like, I definitely see oh, the logic and how they reached that conclusion. The first adult we defeated was a random person we didn't even know. We learned that kids can kill adults if they wanted to, and we were encouraged. <laughs> Y'all don't look encouraged. Y'all look terrified. From there, we leveled ourselves up by killing demons. Hmm. So you didn't like that you were being treated as, uh, as like a video game experiment, and so you continue to be a video game experiment, but in a different way. Big Sis Junko was so pleased. Just the idea of a child killing an adult is despair-inducing. Mm -hmm. It's just insane. Just as I expected. You guys were just tools to her. She was using you. The way she took you in... It's no different than a cult. Yeah. You bring in the weak people and attach them to your own dream. That is how cults work. The revolution you're talking about? It's all just another piece of despair to her. You guys were completely deceived by Junko and Ashima. Yeah, and now she's gone, so what are you gonna do? And what's wrong with that? Did I not tell you that we are her possessions? We would rather her take advantage of us than horrible adults. Yeah, I mean, from his perspective, like, I definitely, I definitely can see that. Sounds like it's too late. Say what you like. Big Sis Junko gave us hope. That's the truth. And because of that hope, we were able to defeat the demon boss. Ooh, who's the demon boss? Demon boss? Our parents. Oh, okay. I thought there was, like, one, like, big, like, adult, like a, like a leader of some sorts. You killed your parents? That was a special battle that can only be fought once. That made us level up even further. I mean, I'm not surprised by that. From there, Operation Children's Paradise began, and we started freeing other children. I, I would honestly, based on the things that we've learned about the kids, I would be way less surprised if they killed their parents than about them killing like random people they don't know, um, because they would have more anger to direct towards the people that actually like wronged them um, and things by like that. By doing so, the advance of the Warriors of Hope seemed unstoppable. But, just when things were going so well, Big Sis Junko died. Killed by some idiot. Whoa, 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 who are you calling an idiot? She's standing right there. When she died, and we lost our guide, we didn't know what to do. But, Monica didn't despair. Oh. Okay. All we gotta do is fulfill the hopeful dream Big Sis Junko gave us. We shouldn't give up. We can't abandon hope. At that moment... Monica looked just like Big Sis Junko in our eyes. Okay. Things that didn't matter vanished, and we felt ourselves rising up again. Come to think of it, that moment, that was the real beginning of the revolution. And that's probably what then what started the, like, the TV broadcast and, like, all the Monokumas attacking this city and things like that. Uh kidnapping Kamaru and just all the other people and putting the wristbands on them. It was probably all similar this timeline time around, around the same time. I swore an oath. We, the survivors, will fulfill the dream and prove how amazing Big Sis Junko is. We would leave lies like education and love for family in the past and create paradise. That is our hope. You guys, you really don't understand that you're doing something very wrong. Y yeah, they don't. That's the problem. Justice and evil. 
These are beliefs that adults have defined, are they not? So you're literally taking children that were, like, put in awful situations where, you know, w with reasons to have grudges against, like, people twisted with ultimate despair influence and, like, yeah, and ultimate talents on top of that. So they're basically just monsters right now. It's like, there might be a way to fix them, but I don't know. First off, pure evil simply does not exist. In all evil, there is something good. And in the same way, justice always hurts someone. There is no pure justice either. <laughs> Are we really gonna stand around waxing philosophical with some little brat? I wanna know why you guys chose Toa City. That's an interesting question. And not only that, how did you guys get that army of Monokumas? The one who chose the city and prepared our Monokumas was Monica. Okay, so, hmm. Monica might have been like a normal human child, like raised like everybody else, but she definitely seems to be more important for some reason. Isn't she amazing? She created them with her special magic. Magic? Don't take any of this seriously. It's just some kid talking. I mean, there's probably some truth behind it. Basically, Monica's the mastermind. And to save Master, I gotta deal with her. Monica is our princess. I will never allow that. <laughs> Hey! Even though she's like attacking you, uh, maybe not directly, but indirectly. Earlier, you said that there is no such thing as pure justice or evil. But even if that's true, a dream that requires you to hurt someone, I think it's wrong. <laughs> After all this time, still saying something so naive, it seems as though we really don't have much in common. I was right to ask you to leave. So let's go already. The secret passageway is right up ahead. All right, now I think the gears are turning and Kamara's not going to go along with this. We might get right up to the secret passageway and that's exactly when Kamara's going to be like, actually, no, I refuse. Um, okay, I just wanted to see if there's anything back here. I don't think so. I guess we'll go up a little further. Oh, I almost missed this. I forgot about this. Uh, I'll, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. See if there's a save point up this way. Even if it's just more cutscenes. We're here. It's at the shrine. We should get going. Ooh. Hey, Omaru, do you have a second? Huh? I yeah. Are you really sure this is okay? To end it like this? Running away? You're asking this now? All this time I've been trying to escape. And not just that. I'm still worried about my dad and mom. And you don't think that they might still be somewhere in the city? What are you gonna do, Toko? Are you really gonna stay here? Uh, of course. I have to save Master Biakia. Right. Hey. What do you think, honestly? Is it better for me to stay in this city? Why are you asking me? I mean, if I go... You'll be alone. I'll give Toko the gun and then she can be all powerful. Toko, do you want me to stay? You have no reason to worry about me. I'm capable of surviving on my own. Yeah, you're right. When I'm around, I'm just a burden to you. Unlike me. You're truly amazing, Toko. Hey, Omaru? Hmm? Sorry. For getting you involved in all this. Mm. I think she was kind of involved from the start anyway. Involved? What do you mean? N nothing. Just leave before he changes his mind. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Alright, well we're gonna collect our stuff. And then we're gonna go save the game. Um, oh, we got two bars of Genocide Jack Charge. We've got a life, so there's definitely going to be some more combat up ahead. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what happens in terms of how this comes to an end. Obviously, I think they're going to decide to stay in the city. Um, but there is a chance that they, um, like, leave, get outside the city, and then decide to make a plan to come back and do something. Um, and I think both are feasible options. So, I'm interested to see what happens. I want to get to Sparkly real quick. Uh, children know this town better than I thought. I thought this place would be fine. I was confident that I would never be found. But as if they knew where I was hiding from the beginning, a monocum came and attacked me. I was just barely able to escape, but I couldn't save her. My wife was killed. She was torn apart limb from limb. They cut off her skin and her flesh was everywhere. But I just ran away. I'm done for. There's no place to hide. No place to run in the city. Um, 
Um, it's true that uh, your parents were cool to you, but that doesn't mean you can kill all the adults. <laughs> Get with that nonsense after all this? We are well aware that we are killing innocents. But This is war. When you're burning an enemy's country to the ground, do you stop to spare the good people? Even if we had ears, we would never achieve our dream with that benevolence. But, but demon. consider it fate. We were born and raised here. We were treated as if we weren't even human. Would it be a cruel twist of fate if we didn't fight back? Um, if you just do to them what they've done to you, don't mess with me. if you think we should have stayed subhuman, just accepted it? No, no not like that. Hey. Then you tell me, what should we have done? What was the right thing to do? What should we have done to earn the privilege of a normal, happy childhood? Don't mess with me! Well, stop being such a drama queen. You could have relied on the police, on the government. Mmm, not all, and that does not always work. Don't mess with me! Yes, and those who have had their lives destroyed by adults to trust other adults. Y yeah. Ugh. Ever since uh, we five were born in Toa City, our destiny was decided. No one can stop us. With all the children in this town, we will build an ideal paradise. All the children in this town? You're talking about all those brats in the helmets? Of course, it's not just us, but uh, also the Monica kids. All the children. It's far too suspicious. Funny that all the kids in this town just happen to have murderous intentions like you. <laughs> and perhaps I've said too much. I have nothing else to say to you. You cannot stop us now. Be bold for a shrimpy little brat like you to talk big. I don't care how unfortunate your childhoods were. Killing humans will never be okay. Demon. I didn't expect a demon to understand. All right, all right. So that's what that was about. Um, more of the same and just understanding both sides and what they're thinking. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed it, let me know. Hit the like button, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Until then, peace out.